the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. You raise the dead to life in your spirit, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of your Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent on voice to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, do not let your God on whom you rely deceive you by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They doomed them. Will you then be saved? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord and spread it out before him. He prayed in the Lord's presence. O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherub, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he sends to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste to the nations in their lands and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods, but the work of human hands wood and stone. Therefore, O Lord our God, save us from the power of this man, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Thus Isaiah, son of Amos, sent this message to Ezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in answer to your prayer, for help against Sennacherib, king of Assyria. I have listened. This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, laughs you to scorn, the virgin daughter Zion. Behind you she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come a remnant, and from Mount Zion survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, that says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast up siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I shall shield and save this city for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. That night, the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke camp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. 
Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O oh God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. So in today's Gospel, we hear a, a number of sage, wise saying from Jesus um, in the early part of Matthew's Gospel. Um, and of course, you know, there's many ways that you can interpret uh, these sayings, and you always have to put them in context. You know, like the road that leads to destruction, wide. The road to life, narrow. But also, whenever Jesus uses that term, usually it is that with God, everything is possible. So with God, we can do what in the eyes of other people might be impossible. God's grace can allow us to do things we could never do on our own, like be saved, respond to the kingdom of God, live faithfully. Do to others what you would have them do to you. So today, I think the challenge of the gospel um, is really for us to recognize our humble reliance upon God, to live the gospel, uh, to take the pearls of the gospel and, and, to, and to embody them, let our lives be uh, enfleshment of those pearls. And in doing so, we find a way to life, we find a way to the fullness of God's kingdom. So today, the challenge of the gospel, I think very simply, is to make sure that Jesus stands at the heart of our living because with him and his grace, we can do everything needed to be saved. Let us stand and bring our petitions to the mercy of the Lord. For all members of the church, may God continue to renew us in our efforts to spread the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government authorities throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit guide them in building societies that reflect the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are searching for meaning in their lives, May God open their hearts to his grace, and may they find him a firm foundation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all in this faith community who are discerning a vocation to the priesthood or consecrated life, may the Holy Spirit grant them generous hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, May they be wrapped in the loving arms of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mary Settle, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? For the comfort of all who have received our blessed prayer of God, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer of thanks for the continued improvement of health to Pete Core, Rich Riley, Dean Hartman, and John Sumter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Catherine Gore, whose funeral mass will be later this morning, for all those who have died. And now, seeking the intercession of our Lady of Peace, we pray. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, the Lord is, is with thee. With blessed blessed art thou among women, women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray Jesus. for us sinners now and at the hour of thy death. Amen. And we ask these many things through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. That's some kind of old creation. The openness we had is bread, while the bitter this kingdom came and has made it become for us the bread of life. Hmm. He has made us more and more. We have come to share the divinity of Christ. We humble himself to share in our humanity. My soul is of all creation to the goodness we ask for and to offer. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with us and to accept the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that cleansed by its actions, we may make all an offering of a heart pleasing to you. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. He is the Word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilled in your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. God's peace, thank you. <clears throat> Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Thank you. body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask for your mercy, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. We pray pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Have a good day, everyone.